Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys a workaround for if you're getting an issue saying that a file is malicious when you're trying to download it in the Google Chrome web browser and it says that Chrome has blocked it. So in this brief tutorial, I'll be showing you guys a quick workaround for it. The first and foremost thing is I'd recommend you guys try a different web browser first. If you're still getting errors through Smart Screen Filter, you maybe should be concerned that this file actually is malicious. This tutorial is for people that want to insist on using Google Chrome and they are insistent that the file is safe and that they are willing to download it and run it at their own risk. And I'd also recommend, even if you do this tutorial, I'd recommend that we just re-enable when we're done, which I'll show you guys how to do. It's not really that big of a deal how to re-enable it, but I just would prefer you guys keep it checked and enabled if possible once you're done downloading the file you're running into this problem with. So we're going to start by heading up to the top right corner of the Google Chrome screen and there should be three vertical dots and Chrome keeps changing their layout here but it should be similar in the future as well. So you want to left click on that and then you want to left click on the settings option from this context menu. It should be the third up from the bottom so you want to left click on that. And now you want to scroll down on this page until you get to advanced right here and you want to left click on that. Underneath privacy and security, there should be something that says protect you and your device from dangerous sites. Check mark inside of this oval, so if it's blue it means it's enabled. Click inside of it one more time and if it's grayed out that means it'll turn this filter off. At that point I recommend you try and download the file you were having issues with earlier. And then once you've downloaded the file, I'd recommend you go back into this screen that we're on right here and then re-enable that because you do want to have the added layer of protection as well when you're just generally browsing the internet. So I just want to put that out there. I think it's pretty important. But in order to achieve what we're trying to do in this tutorial, you're going to have to turn that off for a moment. And then you should close out of the web browser and you should be good to go. So then after you're done disabling it the first time, you want to restart the browser and then you should be able to download the file without any interruptions. So I hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.